Hello everybody, how is it going? Today I want to show you how to set up your OBS or Open Broadcaster software for streaming and recording. And I am doing it in a tutorial way to make you understand how OBS works rather than giving you just my specs because I think my specs are different from yours and that would be pointless probably. Uh, I'm giving you my specs anyway down in the description so you can see what my computer is set up. Uh, but yeah, let's start. Um, the main thing about streaming and recording is that OBS or uh, recording software in general, it uses a lot of CPU power and you want to find your sweet spot between uh, your video quality and your performance in games. So especially when you're playing a lot of first person shooters, then you need a good frames per second. But at the same time, there will be a lot of movement going on on the screen and that could result in artifacts and a poor quality when, when you're setting up your, your video quality to a lower level. So you have to find balance to actually have an enjoyable experience for your audience and for yourself. And there are basically three big points, big tweak points to uh, actually find that balance. And I'm starting straight away. So the first one I want to look at is the advanced tab here. Advanced has that CPU preset. This is the most important thing. And the setting reaches from ultra fast to slower. And this is basically the, the speed of which your CPU will render or capture the, the, the screen the screen capture, re render the screen capture this way around. So the slower it gets, the more time the CPU takes and the more resources it will put into that capturing. The problem is that the slower it gets, um, the more resources are bound and the poorer your game quality or game experience will be. Um, performance is the right word. So go ahead and try to find a good balance of, of this one here. Uh, I've set my CPU preset to faster. Uh, some of you with uh, poorer machines probably need to go to super fast or even ultra fast. Um, again, if you're just playing Minesweeper or Solitaire, just go ahead and go for slow or slower. But the higher the resources of your game, the, the higher you need to get up here so that your CPU can catch up with what's going on on there. And uh, the encoding profile here is another thing that you should take into consideration. Uh, there are two options, a main and high. High will get a little extra bit of quality out will, while having the same bit rate. But the problem is that most of the mobile devices are just encoding with main. So when you are streaming and you want to serve your mobile audience, then go for the main profile because otherwise some of them couldn't watch your stream at all because the, the encoding profile just didn't match their device. But this is my recording setting and therefore I'm putting it too high to get that bit of extra quality out of there. Then we are going over to the encoding, encoding tab here. And there is that a big setting here. It is called bitrate. So this is basically the, the amount of data that will be written to your hard drive for every second. And I put this very high here. I put it at 28,000. That is really huge. But the good thing is the higher the, the value here, the better the quality gets. And when I'm recording, I don't, I don't care about hard drive space. I have plenty of that. And you can get a lot of quality out by just bumping that up. With streaming, however, it is a bit difficult because this setting here, it is also limited by your internet connection. So when you have a poor internet connection, you need to downscale it. And also you are not allowed, I guess the number is three and a half K at the moment with Twitch. You're not allowed to go higher than that just because um, Twitch then uh, considers this as a denial of service attack because you are, you're putting big data chunks towards their servers and um, Twitch won't allow that. So go ahead and go for like three and a half K, maximum 5K, I guess. I think YouTube allows 8K, something like that, but I, I need to find the specs for that. Maybe I'm giving it you down in the description. So again, if your bandwidth of your internet connection is not good and you want to stream, then you have to lower that, which will result in a lower quality, of course. You could mitigate that by bumping up your CPU um, profile, but again, it, you have to tweak this. The third thing is the video setting here. So this is basically the resolution of the capture. I am capturing in full HD 1080p at the moment. You could of course downscale it to get a better performance, but again, then it will be a bit blurry maybe when people are watching it in full HD. It is all a give and take. So you have to make some trade off uh, if you are uh, aiming for a higher bit rate and can afford 720p, which is also recommended for streaming then uh, go ahead and do so. So um, 
that's that's basically it. So these are the three big preferences that you should tweak to find again your sweet spot between the the performance of your game and um, the video quality. Uh, let me go ahead and show you something else. So now that you understand the basic concept of the quality settings, I just want to show you how to set up your recording software to actually record some games. And it is very, very basic. So I'm just going ahead and pull this one over here. And this will result in tunnel vision because now my screen captures itself and this will go to infinity. But anyway, so as you can see, we've got the scenes and the sources uh, tab down below here. And basically what you can do, you can set up a lot of scenes for different games or um, different uh, things you want to record. And each scene has different sources. The way it works is you just add a source to, to that scene after you uh, created one. And this will be layered on top of each other. As you can see, I've got the monitor capture. It just captures my complete monitor. And on top of that, there is my webcam. And uh, you can add a lot of stuff. Just right click here and you could add text you could add images a lot of streamers are going or going ahead and add some nice overlays over their camera so that that will have a nice border around it or add some text and uh, i don't know donation uh, call outs or so so you can tinker around you can have different scenes with uh, different purposes also when you are uh, playing different games then you want to rearrange your camera probably to another spot um, just use scenes for that uh, also, you should go for a game capture, not a full monitor capture, because again, as you can see, my taskbar is captured. And when I'm just, um, I don't know, when I open my browser and I will put it accidentally into the stream, then it will be seen by everybody. So make sure that you are going ahead and add a game capture for that, so that only a game will be captured that you want to stream, not the whole monitor. Uh, let me uh, go ahead and say Mac Warrior Online. For example, I call it that way. And then there is a list from uh, stuff that are just uh, up and running at the moment. Uh, Mac Warrior Online is not running at the moment, so that I could record this here. But if I would have started, it would be in the list. And then you can just capture the frame, just the, the frame of the game, which will be better, of course. So yeah, this is um, the basic setup here of how to, how to actually add images and uh, capture stuff to the scenes here and um, yeah the rest of the settings i can't really show you i just wanted to show you some profiles so you can set up your settings to profiles but i can't do that because i'm recording at the moment so gonna tinker around with this a bit i have two profiles just one for recording one for streaming so that you can actually save your presets for that and you can switch them very easily that is very nice and another thing i want to show you is when you want to stream go ahead and go to broadcast setting actually let me let me take this one away again and this is better so the broadcast setting is um it's very simple you have uh, a lot of presets here you could go for like twitch and um, youtube where is it those are the most popular ones uh, if you just want to go ahead and stream to hitbox tv just do that but usually you have um you have that stream keys somewhere around uh, in your settings of that platform there is a stream key you need to put that into here always keep it secret that's very important and the rest of the settings are just you don't need them really you just go ahead and put this one into here and you're ready to stream uh, also when you're going at to twitch it says that your maximum bitrate should be 3500 as I told you before, and uh, this one is giving you some some good best practices, and you should follow them when you want to stream. For recording, this broadcast setting is only good for your file path. Uh, you can just select where your files, your recorded files, will go to by just specifying this here. And this is um, the name of the file that will be written to your hard drive. I called it capture uh, underscore capture, and then minus and dollar t means timestamp. Uh, it will just add the timestamp to the to the file name and then mp4 for the format and this is how you record games and then you will find your games in this folder so yeah that is the basic the very basic setup for obs if you want a deeper look at at all the settings or maybe audio settings they are probably not that relevant but uh, there is a lot of stuff that you can tinker with uh, but this is the most important stuff again uh, i hope you 
you get a good glimpse of how important it is to get your balance between your own performance and the quality of the video so that you all have a good experience out there. And yeah, if you liked the video, don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel. I have a gaming channel. Maybe you are coming only because of the open broadcaster software video, but maybe you want to subscribe anyway. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you next time, everybody. Goodbye.